want to start a skincare routine but you're wondering how many products should you use, which ones are suitable for your skin, in what order you should apply these products. Well, I second that and today I'm here to answer all your questions. Hi guys, I'm Smriti and today I'm going to show you how to build a basic skincare routine. But before I get into the video, go ahead and subscribe to our Be Beautiful channel and also ring the bell icon for further notifications. If you are brand new to the idea of a skincare routine, then let me tell you that the basic foundation of a skincare routine is cleansing, toning and moisturizing your face on a daily and sometimes twice daily alongside applying sunscreen in the day. You can incorporate nourishing additions like serums, face oils and actives. Of course, this can be modified and products can be added depending on your individual skincare needs. For example, if you are struggling with acne, you may consider adding a spot treatment. No matter the case, the core three steps plus sunscreen remain as the foundation of a successful skincare routine. One of the first steps on the road to building a skincare routine is determining your skin type. Different skin types have varying needs that need to be met by skincare products. Oily skin type may be more concerned with mattifying ingredients as opposed to dry skin types that need thick and rich moisturizers. One easy way to determine your skin type is to observe your skin throughout the day. Is your skin shiny and oily by lunchtime or dry and flaky in the morning? Whatever the case, these characteristics are indicative of your skin type. So if your skin looks shiny due to an overproduction of oil, then you have oily skin. If your skin feels dry, flaky and tight, then you have dry skin. And if your skin is red and irritated, typically painful to touch, then you my friend have sensitive skin. Lastly, if your skin is dry, flaky on the cheeks, while excessive oil and shine appears on other areas of the face, then you have combination skin. Once you've determined your skin type, you can narrow down to which products to look for and which ones to avoid. Many products will indicate on their label what sort of skin type they're best for, making it easy to find products that will work for you. Now let me show you my basic skincare set that I use on a daily basis. The first step is using a cleanser. The general rule of thumb here is that you must cleanse your face twice per day, once in the morning and once in the evening. Cleansing in the morning will help to remove dead skin cells and allergens that may have collected on your pillowcase that get transferred onto your facial skin throughout the night. And cleansing your skin in the evening will not only remove dirt, oil, sweat, dead skin, makeup, skincare residue collected throughout the day but will also undo any damage done to the skin during the day. While picking a cleanser, consider your skin type and skin concerns. My skin is acne prone, so I use a cleanser with pimple banishing ingredients like this one. This is the St. Ives Tea Tree Pimple Clear Face Wash Cleanser. I'll gently massage it onto the skin for a minute. Avoid going beyond that because you may end up stripping your skin off its natural oils and disturbing its moisture barrier. It is a refreshing gel face wash which when applied on the face doesn't irritate the skin, does not cause dryness and other problems, making it super gentle. It helps to deeply cleanse my skin. This cleanser is formulated with 100% natural tea tree extracts which have anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial properties that calm redness, swelling and inflammation that may have been caused due to acne. Plus, it also has 2% salicylic acid that works to treat acne by unclogging blocked pores. After the skin is cleansed, it's time to apply the toner. If you think toners are only for oily skin, then you're wrong. Toners do much more than just close pores and balance pH levels of your skin. Although originally they were formulated using alcohol as one of the ingredients to dry up oily skin and remove leftover dirt, today's formulas have evolved. The thin liquid resets the pH balance of your skin and strengthens the protective barrier which gets disrupted while cleansing. The toner that I've been loving lately is this one. It's the simple kind to skin soothing facial toner. Instead of pouring it on a cotton pad which I realize leads to wastage of product, I take a few drops on my cleansed hand and gently pat it into my skin as this will ensure that the ingredients seep deeper into the skin layers. 
Allow the toner to soak into your skin for about 20 to 30 seconds before moving on to the next step. This toner contains chamomile which is an anti-inflammatory, provitamin B5 that hydrates the skin and allantoin which helps soothe the skin. What's great is that it is 100% alcohol free meaning it will not strip the skin of its natural oils. This lightweight formula sinks deep into the skin leaving it plump and glowing. Next is applying a serum. While serums are not essentially the core part of a basic skincare step, but because they are so potent and full of active ingredients that I've added this step in my skincare routine. Trust me, with the right serum as per your skin type and skin concerns, you can expect visible results and that will help your skin glow, it will make your skin plump and target any skin concerns and even reverse the signs of aging. No matter your skin type or skin concern, there is a serum for everyone. Now as per my skin concern, which is acne, my skin tends to look dull. So I've been loving the Simple Booster Serum 10% Vitamin C plus E plus F for youthful glowing skin. Just take 3-4 to four drops, dot it on my forehead, nose, cheeks and chin and neck and gently pat it into my skin. Let the serum sit for about a minute before you move ahead. Now talking about its ingredients, it has 2% active vitamin C that strengthens the skin, 1% active vitamin E that boosts the vitamin C effectiveness and 7% vitamin F that gives plump and glowing skin. Plus, the formulation of the serum has been dermatologically tested. It is non-comedogenic, it has no colour, perfume, no harsh chemical, making it suitable for even those with skin sensitivity. All in all, I must say that after having used plenty of serums, this one has actually worked for my skin from within. I can see my acne fading and my skin glowing all thanks to the impressive ingredient list. Next step is applying a moisturizer. When it comes to skincare, another common notion is that moisturizers are only for those with dry or sensitive skin since the only job of a moisturizer is to hydrate and soften the skin. While that is true, these days moisturizers also offer a lot of other benefits such as UV protection, reducing spots and more. However, choosing the right formula is important. Simply picking a moisturizer that looks and smells nice isn't enough. For oily skin, look for a gel-based moisturizer. For dry and combination skin, you can opt for a cream-based one, whereas for sensitive skin, one without any artificial fragrance works best. Since I have oily, acne-prone skin, I use a lightweight gel-based moisturizer like this one. It's the Pond Super Light Gel Oil-Free Moisturizer with Hyaluronic Acid plus Vitamin E. Just take a small amount and apply it all over the face and neck. This moisturizer instantly gives me the burst of hydration. And my main reason to pick this moisturizer is that it has hyaluronic acid. So basically for oily skin, hyaluronic acid trains the skin to produce just the right amount of oil for hydration. It allows oil glands to quit working over time and give you the right amount of oil that you need to keep that skin young and glowing. Plus it has vitamin E which is a very beneficial ingredient to treat inflammation left behind due to acne. Apart from that, vitamin E is proven to be effective in reducing hyperpigmentation as well. The last step in the skincare routine is to apply a sunscreen as it creates a protective shield over the skin against harmful skin damaging UV radiation. Always opt for a broad spectrum sunscreen as it not only protects skin from UVA and UVB rays but also prevents pigmentation, reduces premature aging and the development of fine lines and wrinkles. Even if you are indoor and are not stepping out, never skip the sunscreen as even when you're indoors, the UVA rays can penetrate through glass. My go-to sunscreen is this one. It's the Lacme Sun Expert SPF 50 PA++ Ultra Matte Gel Sunscreen. It is a broad spectrum sunscreen, it's lightweight, non-sticky, non-greasy and blocks up to 97% harmful sun rays. Just squeeze out two fingers full of sunscreen. That right there is the right quantity. After that, apply it on all exposed areas of your face and you're ready to step out. I 
suggest applying sunscreen at least 30 minutes before stepping out. And also, don't forget to reapply your sunscreen every 2-3 to three hours. Your skincare doesn't have to be complicated. Just follow these steps on how to build a basic skincare routine and you're good to go. It's time for me to go now, but before you go, don't forget to like and share this video, subscribe to our Be Beautiful channel and also hit the bell icon to stay updated with all our latest videos and I'll catch you in the next one.